Hi Cancer, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your monthly April 2018 reading. Now generally my readings are love readings but we are going to see whatever comes up. Oh, you are receiving the raw truth of a situation. Could have been a third party situation. Maybe you're just celebrating. I mean, this can go certain, a couple of different ways. You could be celebrating. You could be having some fun. But there is some tension here. There is some tension. It's like... Back and forth, back and forth. No success. There's no success. There's a lack of respect here. This could be a third party situation. Maybe you received the truth or you have received the truth. This is kind of like the past right here. There's been a lot of tension within a situation that hasn't been successful. And you may be deciding to drop it. You may be deciding to stop playing this game. Because of the truth. Because of the truth. The judgment is truth. Okay. And these are both awakening. I see. I see clearly. I see this situation absolutely clearly now. There's been some sort of hidden agenda here. Were you dealing with somebody who had a hidden agenda? You know, maybe I think there's something that has been revealed. Some sort of uh, secret has come out. There's no doubt about it. And it's like, I can't move forward. This has, this has stalled forward movement. And somebody may be clinging Wanting to control this situation that they can't control. There's lack of control here. Somebody probably reacted. They were able to control their impulses. You may be feeling alone. You may need time to focus. Take a step back. And think about the, the future. What do I want? Where am I going? How do I handle this? How do I let this go now that I know the truth? Whoo, cancer, it's heavy, it's heavy. It's like something is didn't become successful that you put a lot of effort into. You know, it feels to me like you were absolutely committed to this situation and now the truth has come out and it's it's a it's a truth that you really didn't want to hear. And for you cancer cross watchers, I have to throw this out here. I don't want to hear any negative comments about your ex, about your cancer. This reading is for the sign of cancer. And I don't care what your cancer did to you. That's not what this is about. I will delete those comments. This wasn't meant to be. Okay? It wasn't meant to be in your future. Whatever it was. The wheel is destiny. It's reversed. Okay? Whatever didn't work out, whatever, you know, there was a loss of respect here. There was a loss of, uh, of self. Somebody acted impulsively. And now there's a price to pay. The truth has come out. And you may need to take the time to focus on what's next. How do I handle this? How do I get through this? You know, it's time for you to 
work on releasing this situation that has transpired because I feel as though, you know, it's over with the Ten of Swords. Something is over. It's ended. There's been some sort of betrayal. The secret has come out. And now, now it's your mind is going back and forth. What, what do I do from here? I was completely committed to this situation. And it feels as though now there's, there's, there's no more security here. I'm not, I don't think that I can ever see this situation as secure again. You know, it's like a run of bad luck, okay? It feels like you were involved in something that was brought to you. To teach you something, obviously. Something about self-respect. There's a loss of respect here. Now, whether this is the person that you're dealing with that did not respect you or you not respecting yourself. There's a lack of confidence. There's been a lot of power struggles here and I feel as though... The truth is here. It's out. It's, it's been revealed. And now you have to come up with the plan to walk away from it. To let it go. To drop it. Okay? And I feel that, you know, you can't... I can't play this game anymore. I'm, I'm not interested in playing this game. Nope. I'm not. I have to, I have to go. It's, this is a dead end. We've reached a dead end. And I don't think that there's any more relationship growth here. I react, I, I, you know, I had the best intentions for this relationship. But you just threw it right away. And you may be feeling bitter and angry about this situation, about what has happened. You may be feeling very upset that so you were disrespected in this way. But I think your inner guide was telling you, your intuition was telling you that this wasn't meant to be. I think that you're in, but you didn't want to follow that. I feel as though you, this has happened for a reason it has because you have to learn to listen to your inner guide. These are both very intuitive. You have to listen to your inner guide. This is about believing in yourself. You have to learn to believe in yourself. You have to ha you know, you lack the confidence to do that. I feel as though you were completely committed to this relationship. Or this situation, whatever it was. Completely committed to it. But the other person wasn't, wasn't reciprocating. Not the way they should have. Okay? They were like dumping out your love. They were dumping it out. They were like, they didn't even see what you were offering. And it caused a lot of uh, depression. I think that you have been going through some sort of anguish. And especially at night. Especially at night knowing that... There's a lot of struggles here. We're having a lot of struggles here. And I'm not sure how we can handle it. And you may be seeking guidance from above. You may be thinking, begging for the answers. How, how, why, how. I think that your faith is increasing and you have been probably, you know, talking to the universe, talking to the divine, talking to your God, whatever, and begging for the answers. Because somebody hasn't been reciprocating the love. They've like been just not appreciating the love that you have to offer. Yeah, look at that. 
And the thing is, is it's over. This is the death of an idea, the death of a situation. It's over. But the Ten of Swords, these are both like death cards. I mean, they are. But this is not a phys This is a death. This is a death card. But this is it's not a physical death. It's the end. It's the end. And I think that you you probably need time to recuperate, okay? Because it feels like you're, you know, you are having to let go of something that you were deeply committed to. And it feels as though there's, the pride is an issue, you know, like your, your ego, your pride has been hurt, that your self-worth, your self-esteem, your self-confidence has been damaged from this rejection, okay? And I feel that it's time, you are being called to let this end, but it's hard to let something end that you were completely committed to, right? I think you have this fear of change and you're holding on to something. You're holding on to something that is really not meant for you. You're holding on to something that is keeping you trapped, okay? It's making you feel isolated, okay? This, whatever you're holding on, you're holding on to mental conflict. You're holding on to lies. You are holding on to lies, son of a bitch. You are, okay? What's going on here is somebody is being dishonest. And I know that it's unfair. I know that it's unfair. But you have to find the strength within you and the self-esteem and the self-worth and the self-confidence to remove this depressive state of mind, this, this mental conflict. You need to find the strength to remove these power struggles, to restore your faith, to not feel like a victim. You're not a victim here, and I know that this is hard to hear. But you may be feeling like you've been used, you've been abused, you've been lied to. I'm the victim in this matter. And you know, we all go through that state of mind where we get overly emotional and we blame. But you need to find the strength to master your emotions at this time. And I feel like at this time, you may not be mastering your emotions because this is very hurtful. But it's time for you to start a new journey. Okay? It's time for you to start a new journey and to have faith in the future. I feel like you could be dealing... We have all the signs here, so I don't really need to name them off. But I feel like you have been hurt deeply. Deeply with someone who wasn't being honest. But you see the truth now. The truth is the very first card that came out. The truth has come out. Perhaps about a third party situation. And it has affected your relationship. You need to go through a renewal. You need to take the time that you need to recuperate and go through this rebirth. You need to take the time that you need to heal. You may need to move, okay? Or somebody needs to move. Maybe you're thinking about changing your home circumstances. Maybe somebody's moving out. Maybe you're moving out. You know, it appears that you know, right now, I just want to be happy. I, I, don't, I want to be happy. I want to do anything to be happy. I just want to be happy. And I feel like it's a time for you to, to take some time out, okay? We have a time out with the Hermit, the Four of Swords. You need to take a time out to nurture yourself, to find your strength, do some soul searching, and bring your beautiful soul back to where it needs to be. I think you need to go through a renewal. You need to go through some sort of healing process 
and it's going to take some time and you need to restore your faith. But I feel like there's a lot of mental conflict here and you're probably pretty angry about the outcome. I see anger here. There's the, a relationship that didn't work out, a union that didn't work out, and it's made you feel very unhappy. But I think it's time to make this final, okay? I think, it's re, I think that the blindfold is off. I think that you guys are seeing the situation completely clearly now. And right now, this is a month of taking action and really recuperating from this hurt. It's a month of recuperation. Because you've been lied to. Duped. I've been duped. And I think at this point, you know, you've, like I said earlier, you've lost your self-confidence. You've lost your self-worth and your self-esteem. And because of that, you know, I feel as though there's, you may not even want to communicate with anybody. It's like, I need to work on me. I feel like you are probably going to withdraw from the outside world as much as possible. I mean, yeah, you still got to work, whatever. But I think that you're going to withdraw to heal, to get over this betrayal that has totally... Knocked you down. And this was some sort of lesson. Okay. That, that didn't. That wasn't successful. I mean there was. This is, not, this is lack of success. I think that you're going to feel empty. You're feeling empty. And I'm so sorry. The world card reversed is emptiness. No closure. Unable to move on. And that's why you have to take this time to recuperate and heal. And focus and soul search. There's a lot of soul searching here too. You need to step back. Focus on your future. Go within. And decide what it is you're really looking for in the future. Let's talk about the future. What's in the future? This month is about recuperation from some sort of hurt. Okay. Do I see new love coming in? I don't right now. But let's see what's happening. Because I see that you're... you're somebody could be leaving a relationship because there's been some... Some serious deception here. Okay, the truth comes out. It feels like, you know, in the future, there will be wish fulfillment. But you have to be objective about the situation. You're going to have to be objective. And you're going to, and you're going to have choices. But you're going to have to really, like I said, be objective about the choices. Beware of false beginnings. Be careful what you choose. Okay? This Seven of Cups is reversed. You need to make clear, clear choices. And you need to be sure that you're choosing for the right reasons. Don't choose somebody based on looks. Choose someone based on who they are. You have to be, look at things from a new perspective. Codependency, addictions are affecting your romantic life. Is that why it's so hard to leave? Or so hard to move on? There's codependency issues here. 
trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith, and that showed up earlier. This part of this whole problem or issue is to is about faith. It's about restoring the faith within you. And that's what it is. Many of you are asking the divine for help at this time. And it is restoring your faith. You're turning to above for the answers. I mean, that's what's going on here. Because something big has happened and there's no other choice at this point. I need help. And you are being called to have trust in the divine plan and destiny. Whatever has fallen apart wasn't destiny. And that's hard to uh, hear, I know. Live in the now. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Live in the now, not in the past. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Passion. Beware of false beginnings. And that's because it's going right here. Okay? I think you need to trust that you will find passion again. Okay? You will find it again. You will. I don't use these... Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Do not, I think your person doesn't look like your usual type. That's what I think. I think that your soulmate isn't your usual type. They don't look like your usual type. That's why I said don't choose somebody on looks. I, and you know, and that, she keeps popping to my head. I don't know why because that's a message from the universe. Okay, don't choose somebody based on looks. You will get dinged if you do. That's a lesson that needs to be learned. So I feel as though, you know, there is a choice. You will have an opportunity for new love, but you are going to have to look at it from a whole different perspective. Okay? So I feel like this is a month of healing, recuperating, focusing, soul searching, to figure out what you're looking for and healing over some sort of truth and betrayal that has come out in regards to a relationship that you are fully committed to. And now you have to regain trust and faith that this that in the universe, in God, whatever, whoever it is that you honor, you have to regain trust and faith that, okay, I will find this again. I'm going to go out and find it. What does Cancer need to know? One more bit of advice. That's the one. Oh, take a moment. Yes, that makes sense, doesn't it? Stop. 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 Now is not the time to rush into the, de to the decision that you're about to make. Before this important decision is made, take a moment to pause and quiet your mind so that you can ask your soul for guidance before you act or move forward. This just reiterated my whole reading. Step back and focus on what soul search. I mean, that's what the card says. So, oh God, sorry about that. Um, it is time to step back and focus. That's what you need to do. Soul search, and you will find passion again trust me I just wanted you to see that card so you can read it that's your message for April April choose wisely